Half-Life, full of life, consequences. John Freeman, who was Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in an office typing on a computer. He got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help. So he went. John Freeman got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building where he left his motorcycle and normal people clothes because he was in his office lab coat. John Freeman got on his motorcycle and said, It's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. John Freeman ramped off the building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no zombies around because he didn't have weapons. The countrysides were nice, and the plants were singing, and the birds and the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for John Freeman's quest to help his brother where he was. John Freeman looked around the countryside and said, It's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. John Freeman was late, so he had to drive really fast. A cop car was hidden nearby, so when John Freeman went by, the cops came and wanted to give him a ticket. Here John Freeman saw the first monster, because the cop was possessed and had head crabs. I can't give you my license, officer, John Freeman said. Why not, said the head crab officer back to John Freeman. Because you are a head crab zombie! So John Freeman shot the officer in the head and drove off thinking, My brother is in trouble there, and went faster. John Freeman had to go faster like the speed of sound and got there fast because Gordon needed him where he was. John Freeman looked at road signs and saw Raven Home with some on writing under it saying, You shouldn't come here. So John Freeman almost turned around but heard screaming like Gordon so he went faster again. John Freeman rode in and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike and the motorbike took off some headcraft zombies in front of John Freeman. John Freeman smiled and walked fast. John then looked on the ground and found weapon. So he picked it up and fired fast at zombie ghosts in front of a house. John Freeman then said, Zombie ghosts, leave this place. And the zombie ghost said, But this is our house. And John Freeman felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts. So he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts. So they were at peace. Then John Freeman heard another scream from his brother, so he kept walking really faster to get where he was. Raven Holden was nothing like the countryside. There was no birds singing, and the paths were dead, and the dirt was messy and bloody from head grab. When John Freeman got to where the screaming was started, he found his brother, Gordon Freeman, fighting the final boss. And Gordon said, John Freeman, over here! So John Freeman went there to where Gordon Freeman was fighting. John Freeman fired his bullet from the gun really fast, and the bullet went and shot the final boss in the eyes, and the final boss couldn't see. Gordon Freeman said, it's time to end this once and for all, and punched the final boss in the face, and the final boss fell. John Freeman said, thanks, I could help, bro. And Gordon Freeman said, you should come here earlier next time. And they laughed. The laugh overed quickly, though, because John Freeman yelled, look out, bro, and pointed up to the top of the sky. Gordon Freeman looked up and said, no. John Freeman, run out of here as fast as you can. And John walked real fast out. John locked back and saw Gordon get stepped on by the next boss, and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil boss, John Freeman yelled at the top of lungs. To be continued.